Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Li2CO3 plus H2SO4. This is lithium carbonate, and this is sulfuric acid. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced. That's kind of nice. Once we have a balanced molecular equation, we write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. Carbonates in general are insoluble, but when they're bonded to a group 1 element like lithium or sodium or potassium, they're soluble. So in this case, Li2CO3, soluble, it's going to dissociate into its ions. Sulfuric acid, that's a strong acid, so that will break apart into its ions. Lithium sulfate, that's soluble. Carbon dioxide is a gas and water is a liquid. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants up here on top, I see I have two lithium ions. In the products, two lithium ions. So these are spectator ions. We can cross those out. And then I have a sulfate ion here in the reactants and in the products. That's a spectator ion. Cross it out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Li2CO3 plus H2SO4. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Li2CO3 plus H2SO4, lithium carbonate and sulfuric acid. If you look at the charge, we have 2 times 1 plus. That's 2 plus. We have 2 minus here. So those add up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, everything's neutral, net charge of 0. Charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for lithium carbonate and sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.